two weeks together. That's all it took. Two weeks for me to fall for you. Special forces, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, you're on leave. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, I think I am. Full moon tonight. It actually doesn't matter where you are in the world. It's never bigger than your thumb. Hey, Pop, I got somebody I want you to meet. I like your dad. He loves you. I can tell, even if you can't. The way people act around you, it's like they're scared of you. Why don't you get your hands off? Why are you scared of who I used to be? You don't scare me, John. Well, you scare me. Hey guys, welcome back to another Emily's Quarantine Vlogs. So this week, I am going to be talking about a movie that I watched off Netflix. It's a movie based on Nicholas Sparks' book called Dear John, and I have been wanting to watch this movie for so long. Um, all my friends have told me that it's like one of their favorite um, Nicholas Sparks movies. So I decided to watch it, decided to sit down, finally get a chance to watch it. And it honestly is completely blew me away. I loved it so much. So the main character, Savannah, um, is played by Amanda Seyfried and then John who's played by Channing Tatum. The chemistry between them on camera is just so good. Like they did, the whoever the casting director was did such an excellent job in casting those two together. And just the story is so sweet and it made me cry. Made me cry. It was so good. I feel like a lot of people kind of give a bad rap to Nicholas Sparks movies. They always say like, oh they're all the same. They'll have sad endings and they're just all lovey-dovey and yes they're lovey-dovey they're sad but they're not all the same that's why i'm gonna argue that because they're not all the same it's probably one of my top nicholas sparks movies now for sure um i really love the notebook i think i mean a lot of people watching this are like of course the notebook's your favorite basic but The Notebook is such a good movie, so you just can't even. But Dear John, I like the way it ended because it kind of ended like um, open-ended in a sense. But you'll have to watch it because I didn't just give it away. There's still stuff that, major stuff that happens and you'll just have to see for yourself. It's such a good movie, so I highly recommend it. On rating it, I would honestly rate it 9 out of 10 for sure. For the boys watching this, I know, see, I know boys like love movies and chick flicks. I know that they do. There's a little bit of something for everyone. <laughs> I don't know how I was trying to say that. So yeah, Dear John, I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. Totally recommend it. It's on Netflix, so if you just need a little feel-good movie to watch, um, I definitely recommend to watch Dear John. All right, guys. See you later.